Joining me now, House Judiciary Committee member and Florida Congressman Matt Gates and former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski. Corey, it looks like he's having a real hard time getting through that. Why in the world would he volunteer to do this sit-down documentary? Do you have any clue? Well, this is clearly insanity at its best. I mean, look, he's, he's falling into the realm of crazy Joe Biden saying just crazy things that come out of his mouth all the time, right? I don't understand it. Look, Jesse, this guy should have been taking Xanax, not uh, Viagra while he was in the White House. This is <laughs> unbelievable that he's still talking about this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he got paid. Maybe he didn't get paid. Congressman, what do you think about this? Do you think right now in the middle of a Democratic primary, it's the time to release a documentary series like this? <laughs> You are so uncompassionate, Jesse. The man was terrorized into a sexual encounter. Didn't you hear it from his own mouth? I mean, frankly, I prefer the blockbuster Trump jobs report to the Hillary documentary on Hulu. And I would suggest that if there's probably a better perspective on these encounters, it's Monica Lewinsky's TED Talks. Let me plug those. I think that's a pretty enlightening modern look at slut shaming in today's society. And it deconstructs that dynamic in a far more productive way than the former president did. Yeah, the, the, the woman can't even get a job. I don't think she's ever had a job afterwards. It's terrible how she was treated. This is sound of Bill describing having to tell Hillary about the affair. Watch. I went and sat on the bed and talked to her. I told her exactly what happened, when it happened. I said, I feel terrible about it. I said, you know, we've been through quite a bit in the last two years. I said, I have no defense. This is inexcusable what I did. I guess that's the only way to do it. And then here is Hillary on how she reacted. I was just devastated. I could not believe it. I was so, you know, personally just hurt and, I, you know, I can't believe this. I can't believe you lied. I, you know, it just, anyway, was horrible. And I said, if this is going to be public, then you have got to go tell Chelsea. Oh, wow. Very, very emotional situation, Corey. But again, what is it about the Clintons where they have to just bring you into their lives like this? It's like they, they just want to show everybody everything about themselves. At, at a certain point and at a certain age, you think to yourself, you know what, maybe we should keep this stuff private. There, there are some things I think it's fair to say that the American people just don't want to see as it relates to Bill Clinton. Look, we've seen the dress already that Monica had. We've seen the stain. I've seen the Monica Lewinsky room inside the White House. I don't think anybody actually wants to see this Hulu documentary. All right, let's go to Hillary. She can't get Bernie off her mind. She still hates the guy. I'll play it, and then the congressman can react. Watch. Honestly, Bernie just drove me crazy. He was in Congress for years, years. He had one senator support him. Nobody likes him. Nobody wants to work with him. He got nothing done. He was a career politician. He, had, he did not work till he was like 41 and then he got elected to something. It was all just baloney and I feel so bad that you know people got sucked into it. I just don't want him to get out yeah. and claim the revolution is working. People felt the burn. You know, part of me thinks she doesn't want anybody to win. I don't think she wants Bernie to win. I don't think she wants Biden to win. Because if you did, you wouldn't be dropping grenades like this in the middle of a primary that's not even over yet, Congressman. I just don't know why the Clintons are doing this. Maybe it's just the millennial in me, but if people are going to be talking about their deep regrets and uh, who they want to throw shade at and their strange sexual encounters on television, I just prefer it to be the Kardashians. <laughs> this is like the boomer version of that with the Clintons. So I, I don't know why they feel the need to go and like relive their worst experiences and their strangest grievances. Uh, I find Bernie to be pleasant. He's a socialist, but I, I don't have the same view of him that Hillary does. Yeah, maybe it's therapeutic. So so we have to give you a little jazz here, Gates. I mean, you're throwing on some sort of gas mask.
Can we put the picture up? There you are. I don't know what you're reading, but there you are in Congress. You have a whole gas mask on. You explain, listen, Congress people are filthy. We go through the <laughs> dirtiest airports. We touch everyone we meet. We take selfies with people. If anybody is getting coronavirus, it is going to be Congress. And so, I, you know, I just think that place is like a Petri dish with 435 people running around on the floor. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. <laughs>